So I want to do a quick demo on how to approach the schedules using the table tool in AutoCAD. What I want to do is I'm going to want to set up a table style that I can use for any of my schedules really. I could use it for the finish schedule, a lighting schedule, door schedule, you know, whatever kind of schedule I need. They should all have the same setup, the same text size, the same font. And our IDCAD standards ask us to use the Arial font with a 3 16th inch height for the titles and the 3 32nd inch height for the, um, the rest of the text. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I've got those text styles set up, uh, which I do in this case. I've got my Arial 3 16th. These are annotative text styles and my 3 32nd inch. So next I'm going to go to the Annotate tab and I'm going to go over to the Table uh, area here and I'm going to create a new table style. I'm going to click on the arrow here to do that and I'm going to click New and I'm going to work from Standard because that's the one that um, comes in automatically uh, with a new AutoCAD drawing and I'm going to call this one Schedule. So the the table style allows you to set characteristics for three different types of cells. There's a title, there's a header, and then there's the data text. And this little preview here kind of shows you um, what um, the various settings are. So we're going to start with the title. And I'm going to go here to the general tab. And I'm going to leave my fill color as none. I want my alignment to be middle center because that's going to center the title over the whole table. And then my format here, I'm going to switch this from general to text. And then basically it just treats the text in exactly how you type it. It's not going to try to um, reformat it into anything else. Click OK. And then I'm going to go to this text tab. And here I want to set it to that text style I was just looking at a minute ago. I'm going to use this pull down menu. And I'm going to set it to the Arial 3 16th inch height. And I'm going to leave the rest of this alone. And my borders should be fine. They're coming in with a border around each cell. So next I'm going to go to the header text. And so that's this. Um, text that's between the title and the data. And it's a little unclear in the IDCAD standards if uh, they're asking for this to be 3 16th of an inch or 3 32nd of an inch. I'm going to make it 3 32nd of an inch, but if you want to go with 3 16th, that's fine as well. So I'm going to go back to this general tab and I'm going to leave the fill color as none. I'm going to leave the alignment as middle center. I'm going to go ahead and come in and change the data type to text. And I'm going to go to text. I'm going to switch my text style to the Arial 332nd. And I'm going to leave the borders alone. And now I'm going to go to my data text. And again, going to general. Now this time it's got the um, alignment as top center. I'm going to switch that to middle center to be consistent. The format again is going to go to text. And then I'm going to go over here to the text tab. I'm going to make this my Arial 332nd and leave the borders alone. So now I'm just going to click OK and close. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in a table. And when I use the, the tables uh, for schedules, I'm going to place it right into paper space, on, right on the, the sheet, on the title block here. And it's, it's the easiest way to control the text size and get everything to be consistent. Um, typically, our annotation is going to always be in model space, but with schedules, because they don't really relate to the drawing in any way, we can go ahead and place those right on the title block. It's not like when we're putting in keynote tags that are pointing to something on the plan or dimensions that need to refer to the plan. Um, this is text that can, can live on the title block. If you prefer to put it in model space, you can. You can put it in model space. You can um, pick an annotation scale for it and then just make sure that when you bring it onto the title block using a viewport, you match the scale of the viewport to that the scale that you set the annotation to and you'll get the text the right size. But I'm going to work directly in paper space. So I'm going to click on this, this table tool 
and it's going to open this um, dialog box here. And what I want to do is I want to look at um, my number of rows and columns and um, some widths and that sort of thing. Uh, I know that in looking at the example, I need 13 columns for my door schedule. I've set my column width to one and one half inch. We can always adjust that if we need to, but that's kind of a good starting point. I'm just going to fill in 20 data rows. I think there's about 16 or so new doors. So that gives us a couple extra rows. And again, we can add and subtract as we need to go along. And I'm going to leave my row height to one line. So now I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to place my schedule here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put in the title. I'm going to put in door schedule. And I want to make sure I've got my all caps on. You want all this text to be in all caps. Now I'm going to skip a line and I'm going to go down to the next row because we've got kind of some subheaders we want to have um, to encompass the, the, the headers that are, are the third row down. So I'm going to put the third row down first so that then I can put in those other headers. So the first one I need is door number. And I'm just looking at the example that was posted in class, and I'm going to um, replicate that. I want type. I want width. Height. Thickness. Material, finish, and I'm going to do material and finish again for the frame. Label, type. door handing and remarks. Okay, so now I can put in those um, headers that I want. Uh, for example, this, this information here is all about the door and we need to differentiate between the door and then the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do a crossing window and get it to start. And I'm going to select these cells that I want um, to encompass that, uh, that next set of headers. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge these. I'm going to select all. And then I can come in here and type in my door. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then my next one, I want to cover these two columns. So I'm going to just do a crossing window again right click, go to merge all. This is going to be frame and then let's see whoops I'm off one aren't I? So let me just do an undo and I'm going to merge these two There we go. So now I'm going to get this. This one is for the frame. I'm going to merge these. Okay, and then this will be my fire rating. This one is all by itself. Fire rating and then the hardware is going to be it's going to have type and door handing for hardware. Okay, so then I want to merge these and put in hardware. Okay, so now I've got the basic setup for the schedule um, in place. And then all I have to do is go down, you know, I can just put in my door numbers. Oops. And I can put in the, you know, the information, you know, maybe this is type A, maybe this is type B, back to A, maybe this is a C, you know, whatever it is, the width, maybe three foot. 
Oops. Yeah, maybe this one's a six foot door. You know, whatever the information is, um, I can then fill it in and the um, setup is consistent. It's going to be the right size. Um, and you just want to be careful that you don't um, have it so that it's, um, you, you don't want to just kind of haphazardly put it in model space and then just kind of put in a viewport and make it look about right. You want to have some precision with the text height. And like I said, I think working in paper space is the best way to do it. And this, the uh, table uh, tool works very similarly to Excel. So if you're familiar with Excel, um, you should be able to work with ex with um, the table tool. If you need to insert uh, another, let's say we needed another row, I'm going to just select a row here and I can say insert above or insert below. You know, I can do a delete. If I find I don't need these last three rows, I can just come in, select them, delete the rows. Um, you can add in columns the same way. Oops just have to get these little um, headers in. You know, you can insert, you can adjust the, the width, all sorts of things. So um, give that a try. Set up this, this um, table style. And like I said, you can use it then for any of your schedules. And um, then, it, then they'll all be consistent, same size, same text. Uh, and, and that's really what we want to see.